But first, new at 11 tonight, outrage over what's called a hostage-run charity event. The race is supposed to benefit military families, but many say the entire premise is just outrageous. And now there is a petition to shut down the race. Caitlin Ross explains what's causing all the controversy in a story that you will only see on 11 Alive. It basically mimics a kidnapping. The runners have black bags over their heads and their hands are zip tied behind their backs. The military families I talk to say they're making fun of a horrifying reality for some of our service members. This is a fear of all military wives, of all military mothers. Renea Carl was horrified when she found out about the hostage run. Their promotion video shows exactly what happens. Runners have a black bag placed over their heads, their hands zip tied behind their backs for four miles. I was driving down the road and I saw these signs. I got sick. Her husband served in the Army for 21 years and her son-in-law is currently deployed. She says there's nothing funny about prisoners of war. It shows no support for our military, no support for our veterans. Carl and Catherine Anders have tried to talk to the event organizers for the past month to explain why they're so upset. It's not acceptable. It's not fun. It's not lighthearted. Anders has young kids and says when her husband is deployed, she's constantly holding her breath. You don't hear from them for days. You, you just don't know. You don't know if they're okay. You don't know what's going on. Um, and it's hard to explain to your children. Event organizers initially told 11 Alive they would provide a statement about the controversy, but then stopped responding. On their website, they wrote the idea for the run came from the debate around waterboarding and then added, P.S. This event has nothing to do with the out of control and heartbreaking events going on around the world. Anders says that's not good enough. It's a disgrace to everyone who has lost and sacrificed their lives. On their website, the run says they're partnering with the charity Hero Hugs that sends care packages to deployed service members. The founder of that charity did not return our calls for comment, and they have not been financially active since 2012.